today I'm going to be sharing with you the brand new Luca and Alberto's Adventure Pack. So this is so awesome! We have another Sea Monster Pack and it actually comes with all kinds of super cool undersea accessories. So this is so cool! This toy is made by Mattel and is ages 3 and up. It says Pixar Luca. And then you can actually mix and match their human form parts that are sold separately that I have reviewed in the Scooter Crash and Build pack. And you can like mix and match so you can like remake transformation scenes. Like that's really, really good for stop motion as a, as a stop motion person because I do a lot of stop motion. So I'm so happy about that. So right here, it shows that it comes with Luca, Alberto, Alberto's diving helmet and boots, and then an old gramophone, and then his shepherd's crook for these adorable little goat fish that comes with two of them. And of course, the, the crab. She had like a brief appearance in the movie, but I still love that part. And they call her Pinchy Pessa. <laughs> it means like, Pessa means prince princess. So she's like a Pinchy princess. I love that. And this packaging is really cool. It like shows all the undersea effects. And I really, really like that. And on the back of the packaging, it says Luca and Alberto's Adventure Pack. And then it shows the other ones available. It says that there is a color change Luca and Alberto too that I've already reviewed. And of course, the Scooter Crash and Build Pack. And it says there are seven play pieces. So that is so cool. So let's open it up. So friends, we got everything out. This is so, so cool. So first, let's start with our two little goat fish. This first one is so cute and it's smiling. So it looks like probably the Mona Lisa fish. And what's cool about these goat fish is that there's actually sparkles in them. That is so awesome. And I love the little size of these. They're like perfect little tiny little fishy size. So that's so cool. And this one on the other hand looks like he's like seeing something suspicious. He's so funny. I like that. He's so cute. So there they are side by side. I love these. These are adorable. And then we have an old gramophone, so that is really cool from the movie, as they call it the magic singing lady machine. <laughs> so that is so cool. We have the record on there, the little handle. It twists! Oh my goodness, it actually twists! That is adorable. I love that. Well, I never knew that it would actually twist. That is so cool and unexpected. So, next we have Pinchy Pessa, which is the crab. So, it is so cute. Oh, I love it. She's so cute. She has, like, the little dot eyes. I love her expression. <laughs> so, now let's check out all the accessories for these guys. So, this is Alberto. He looks so cool. I love how he looks in his sea monster form. He is adorable. I love it. So, first, before we see the accessories, I'm going to show you the articulation. So, the head is on a ball joint, so it can move all around and side to side and up and down. So, his shoulders move too, so it can go like that or just down. And then you can bend his elbows, which is really, really cool. I love the fins underneath. And the webbed hands. You guys, we have the Sea Monster webbed hands. I loved when I loved when all the toys just first came out. And I wasn't really expecting all of this detail. I mean, you can even see some of the scales. I totally was not expecting this. These are adorable. I love these. And then we can get some torso articulation and, surprisingly, tail articulation. It can move side to side and all around, so that is really, really cool. And then he can actually do the splits, so that is really cool. They can move all the way out. And then his knee can bend 
And actually, we can swivel his leg all the way around. So that is really, really cool. So for his accessories, we have two diving boots and a diving helmet. So let's put them on. So first, we're going to do this one. And these are like really rubbery, so that is really cool. So they're like flexible material. That's really nice. Right, so let's see how to get this in. They're kind of like doll boots, so they look like they're going to be pretty easy. Yep, there we go. It just slides in. Oh, that's cool. They left a bit of room so you can get it in and so the fins don't, like, interfere with that. So that is so cool. The boots fit. That is so cool. Wow. This set so far is, like, adorable. I love it. So let's see. Let's get on the other foot. It's going to be super easy. So you just basically just slide it in until it's all the way on. So that is perfect. Oh. <laughs> so that looks really, really good. Wow, they made it fit like perfectly. I like that. So let's see. I got to get his leg in the right position. There we go. Now let's put the helmet on. Oh, so. Oh, I think this. Hmm. How is this going to work? Hmm. Do you take it apart? So surprisingly, we were trying to get this on because there was a black thing in here. And then we thought it said on the packaging that we could put it on Alberto's head. But that is no way going to fit on his head. But I just noticed there's a little ball hole in there. So what you do is... is oh, <laughs> the torso came apart. But what you do is you take the head off. And then this is supposed to go on the head in in that place. So let's see how this works, if we can get it on here. So let's see. There we go. And then that just goes on there like that. So I just thought it would, like, maybe come apart or something. But you can put it on like that. That is surprisingly cool. <laughs> So there the diving helmet is on. <laughs> so that is so cool. We have his whole little diving outfit. That is so awesome. So here is his shepherd's crook in his hand and he looks adorable with it. I love that little accessory because he had that in the movie to like herd these guys. And then look what you can even do. You can like even put it in like when he's trying to get them. So that is so, I really like this set. It's really cute. And I love like the little accessories. And you can even put Pinchy Pessa in, in their hands if you want. <laughs> that is so cute. Or you can just be maybe standing and looking at him. So that is so adorable. And there is the same articulation on all of them, which is really, really cool. And I love, like, the detail on the fins, the scales, if you can see. Like, there are scale detailing to make it look like he has scales. So that is really, really cute. And I love his little, little tiny back fin. That is so cute. So here is a close-up of Luca's adorable face, and I love his little, his like little ears, his sea monster ears. So that is so cute, and his fin hair, and his eyes. I love like the yellow like sea monster eyes. Those are so, so kawaii. I love this. And his little like, like teeth, how they're a bit like sharper than usual human ones. I love it. They're like a bit pointed at the end. That is so cool. And now we get to mix and match these parts with the human ones. So I have the human parts on hand over here. Oh, Luca. Here, hold on. Let me. There we go. So here is Luca and Alberto from the Scooter Build and Crash Pack. Also by Mattel. So let's see how this works. So first we're going to mix and match with Alberto. So let's see. I'm going to do half and half for our mix and matching. So let's see. So it's like half of him is in the water and half of him is not. There we go. That looks perfect. And we got to kind of put his hands up so if the water like comes to here, 
that it wouldn't like touch his hand so we can do it like that wow i love how this looks on sea monsters that is so cool in humans that's so oh i love this so let's see how he stands and what's cool is you can pose their tail also however you want to make it stand up or but they stand up pretty pretty well with their tail so that's really really nice and that is so cool. So now let's do Luca. So that looks so cool. So we can have them both side to side, half and half. I love the vibrant colors of Luca. That was one thing I loved about the movie was all of the vibrant colors on all of the sea monsters and everything. It was just so cool. And these little goatfish were hilarious in the movie. And they also stand because... They, their tail kind of helps them and their fins so that is really cool and they also kind of have like a bottom that's a bit flat so they can so that really helps them stand well friends i hope you loved luca and alberto's adventure pack by mattel as much as i do these guys were so fun to play with with all their little undersea accessories and especially the diving gear i loved that and i love mixing and matching so that's why i love the luca line all of these setups behind me i have videos on so be sure to check those out and if you love these guys as much as i do be sure to like this video and thank you so much much from the bottom of my heart for subscribing and if you can't comment on this video on youtube you can catch me on any of my social media pages at violet brielle spataro i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>